I cast this circle to enable me to create a brilliant video. How does that feel? Yeah, that feels all right, actually. Yeah. Hello, people. I am Judy Metherill, and I'm a fourth generation witch. Today's video is very pertinent to myself because I'm not the most um, driven person you'll ever meet. I'm, I'm very, very lazy. I really am. And during last month's coven meeting, a very great witch called Martin said that he took inspiration from me being quite lazy and did a couple of hacks with his witchcraft, which meant he didn't have to put so much effort into it. And I suddenly thought, oh, that's me all over. So here is my guide to Ginny's lazy witchcraft. So before we get into this video, I need to talk to you about Anna Luisa, who is today's sponsor. Anna Luisa are a jewellery company and they specialise in creating daily wearable jewels that do not tarnish, do not break, do not turn green, do not turn your skin green and generally are beautiful items to wear. So they've sent me some pieces. So let's have a look. So the first piece that I ordered is this rather stunning gold heart necklace. And as you can see, the detail on it is incredible. The hearts are so beautifully put through the chain. Most impressive. Second item that I took was this very, very charming ring. It's a bit too small for my finger, but I've bought it for somebody else. But isn't that adorable? And finally, I decided to treat myself to a new pair of earrings. They are adventuring and gold charm earrings. This means I can swap out other charms from Anna Luisa instead of the adventurine. I think these earrings might be the sort of things that I'm going to wear all the time. You know, I sleep in them, wash in them, all that sort of malarkey. Anna Luisa is having a sale live right now. Get up to 30% off their stunning jewellery. But this is only available for a limited time. So use my link in the description box below and get your jewellery quick before it goes. Shipping in the United States is free and to the rest of the world it's super fast and super cheap. So have a look. Look at these earrings. These are great. I don't think I'm ever going to take these out. So, lazy witchcraft. Well, there's only three or four things that I can actually talk about. So we'll start at the very basics and that is, of course, circle casting. There's lots and lots of different areas of magic that people get into. My particular favourite area is circle magic. I love and admire everyone's circles. I can see what people's circles look like. I can feel what people's circles feel like. And so therefore, I can tell the difference between two people who will cast exactly the same circle in exactly the same way with exactly the same words, I can see their differences in them. And therefore I find circle magic very interesting because each circle is so individual and so unique. And so this is my lazy witchcraft hack number one. If ever you are feeling a little down or a little unfocused or a little tired, put yourself in a circle to combat that particular issue. The circle that I probably do most of all is to help me create clear, concise videos that you can appreciate. And that is the circle I put around me every time I want to do it. This enables me to really slightly fudge the preparation for the video because I know that I'll bring it to the fore whilst I'm filming. Likewise, I'm going to a party this weekend and I know it's full of lots of people I don't meet, so my favourite type of party. However, I am naturally shy unless I've got a couple of drinks inside of me. This natural shyness will make me clam up. So the circle that I'm going to cast around myself is a circle of confidence so that I don't clam up and I will be able to just go to the party and enjoy it. That is lazy witchcraft. How do you do that? Very easily. Stand up. Point your hands at the floor, say, I cast this circle to you know, help me be happy, to enable me to focus on my test, to help me pass this physics exam. If you are in doubt about how to cast a circle, go back to one of my circle magic videos, how to cast a circle. They're some of the earliest videos I did because that is my particular bag. I'm brilliant at circles and, you know, I like to look at others. 
Lazy Witchcraft Hack number two, Charms and Sigils. Behind you, you will see a pentacle. Now, this is essentially a sigil, isn't it? It's a magical symbol. So if you want to have protection, but you don't really want to do the full protection warding rituals because they take time, they take effort, and you just want a quick circle of protection, why don't you get yourself one of these magnificent altar cloths, put it on the floor and stand on the pentacle? In this circle, you will be protected. I mean, easiest witchcraft hack in the world is keep an altar cloth with a pentacle on it so that should you ever need any protection, go and stand in it and then you can do whatever you need to do. My ward for my home took approximately six months to really get to where they are at the moment. Now, I need some serious warding because of the issues and the problems that I face in my daily witchcraft life. However, sometimes I'm out and about and I can't be bothered to put my warding up. It takes six months. It's a really difficult spell, but I still need protection. So I'll just take this with me and stand in it. Or a piece of chalk does the same thing. Draw the chalk on the floor. In fact, we did that at my witchcraft retreat, much to the horror of the owners of the house we were staying in. I'd had warned them before, but you know. Likewise, you could just carry something like a hagstone. Do you see these wonderful lime stones with the holes in them? These are for protection. And there are classic witch stones that, if you look through them, you're supposed to be able to see the fairy realm, but also they bring great protection to you. So, quite frankly, just carry one of these around in your pocket. I mean, I tend to have them in my cars because they go with the cars. Really easy witchcraft that I don't need to pay any attention to. They have unlimited supplies of magic in them and you don't have to worry. So a protective charm such as a hagstone is brilliant charms that you buy in a shop um that says you know for protection or for this or for that you've got to be very wary because you don't know how much magic there is actually in that spell and whether that magic is any good unless you're like me and you can feel and detect and understand that magic so unless you can actually tell what's in that spell what is that magic why don't you use something incredibly natural, like a hagstone? My final piece of lazy witchcraft is again to do with protection because this is the most important aspect of witchcraft that anyone can do is protect yourself first and your loved ones. But this is from Martin. Martin had worked on a very complex warding spell and he'd done it for his previous house and it had worked great. It was tight, it was protective, it was brilliant. However, he then moved and he thought, oh, I can't be bothered to do a warding spell. However, he had a very good reason that he didn't need to be bothered to do a warding spell. He had some sort of sprite or spirit in his house who was able to do the protection for him. And he asked this sprite spirit fae, whatever it was, could you protect the house for me? And they went, yeah, OK, and did. And so... He didn't have to do any of the warding, so I couldn't be bothered to do calling the corners malarkey. So, if you can find someone else to do the magic for you, like some sort of fairy or elemental, use them. That is part of the reason they are here, after all. Now, I would love to know if you have any witchcraft hacks that you can recommend. Do leave me a comment below so that I can read through them and I'll let you know what I think, because I'm sure they're going to be good. I'd love to hear your particular versions of it. If you'd like to learn more about lazy witchcraft or even just witchcraft, come and join my coven. All you have to do is go to patreon.com forward slash Ginny Muswell and join the coven member tier. Or you could just like and subscribe. Therefore, you will continually get me telling you how to be the greatest of witches. And until then, I will see you in my next video. Bye.